Hey graphic designers, this is Mr. Granlund here and I'm going to show you how to create the text based tutorial using GIMP. Now to start off with, you're going to find a picture of some influential leader. Uh, this is Lynn Natage. Uh, she's the only woman to have ever won the Pulitzer Prize twice. Um, kind of an amazing woman. Uh, you can find amazing people on the time, uh, most influential people here. And what's nice about it too is you can also copy and paste uh, the article that goes along with them. And that's going to be part of this project as well. So I'm going to go ahead, copy this article about them, and I'm going to also paste that into GIMP. So I took the picture, and now I'm going to create a text layer by clicking on the letter A. And I'm going to click and drag so that the text layer goes over the top of everything. And then edit, paste the text that I copied from the article, or you can do, do control V on the keyboard. Now my text comes in at 62, which is way too big. So I'm gonna decrease that. So I'm gonna do control A to select all of the text and I know that for this size picture with the resolution that I have, if I have something around 14 pixels, that's going to be a good size. There's a couple of things I want to do also. I want to make sure I delete any returns in the text. And I also want it to kind of scrunch together and be this white color also. So I'm going to highlight all of it. And I'm just going to decrease the baseline of the selected text. And this is the spacing. I might run it together. Just, well, uh, no, I'm going to leave that. So I'm going to do Control A, Control C, so I can copy it. So it fills the entire page in Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V. Control v. Control V. All right, so now I have my text layer. Next, we're going to create a duplicate of this pasted layer. So I can right click and go to duplicate layer, and that gives me a second one. Now, something I'm going to drag this to the top here. Something that helps this technique work a little bit better is if you use a filter to blur. It a little bit. It just makes it a little bit smoother. Um, it gets rid of the grain. That's way too blurry. Bring it back down. We still want to be able to see the features, but they should just kind of seem smoothed over. Two pixels is a good. 2.16 is good for my picture here. And we're going to use this as a displacement map for the text layer. So we're going to click on the text layer, filter, map, and displace. We're going to click on this aux input. And we're going to click on, double click on pasted layer copy. And as I increase and decrease the horizontal and vertical displacement, you're going to see the text kind of warp. right where it covers the face there. That looks pretty good at about... We're going to click OK. I'm going to get a closer view of this, so I'm going to use my magnify tool, my zoom tool, and on clo closer inspection, I don't really like the way that looks. So I'm going to go back to my history, go back, and we'll try it again. So filters, 
map displace and looking at this closer now I don't really want to go more than about six or so that looks good we're gonna change this blending mode for the text layer I'm gonna change that from normal to overlay that looks pretty nice you might also try a soft light depends on how um, loud you want the text to look and I'm going to zoom out from the picture here and all this text around the outside here I'm gonna get rid of that by creating a layer mask so I'm gonna click here add layer mask we're gonna to go to white full opacity click add and then we're gonna paint gray around the outside of the picture I'm gonna get my paintbrush make sure it's set to normal click on the layer mask here and then paint in this area and I want to get that brush a little bit bigger and hardness a little bit softer Now we're going to do two more, well, three more things for this picture before we turn it in. We're going to add a border. We're going to add some color. And we're going to have their name in the poster here. So let's do that. We're going to create a new layer. And on this layer, we're going to, this is going to be a color layer. So we're going to use a couple of colors on our gradient map and kind of like this purplish color and we'll do maybe kind of a bluish color like that and I'm gonna change the blending mode here to color HSL color that looks awesome and we're gonna make another new layer call this order and we're going to select everything and then we're going to subtract from current selection we're just going to go more time we're gonna create that new layer for the border and then we're gonna create a rectangle just inside try to keep the edges about the same all the way around we're gonna go to select invert we're gonna go to fill and you can fill with the color or you can I'm going to just fill with, let's try this again, select, invert, and then edit, fill, there we go. Just so we have a nice border there, we'll make one last layer, and we'll just grab the leader's name, and paste that in there as well to make it a little bit more interesting I'm gonna just rotate it just stick it in a corner 
Control File, Export As, and turn that in. Text Space. And that's the Text Face tutorial.